In this week, for the Grasshopper course members, I'm going to explain how you can use the image sampler to produce different results. As you can see here, I have used a pattern, which you can see here, and uh, we have used this pattern to produce the results on mesh. You can see that we have those pixels extruded based on a mesh. Uh, you can also produce the pattern or rebuild that pattern again with this one. First, I'm going to talk about the black and the brightness. Again, in this image, I have explained that. So let me just show you. We have this tutorial, which we talk about how you can use this image sampler and produce uh, based on brightness. So this is going to be the first step of how we are going to use a Grasshopper image sampler. This next section is going to be an advanced one because uh, as you can see in this image, and I'm going to show you first the base image, and this is the image. We're going to go into colors, and the colors is, uh, what if uh, we have an image, something like that? We want to produce a mesh from that. As you can see, this is a mesh one, and if I just move these colors, you can see that they are just separated from each other. We have these colors uh, organized into different layers which we can manage and have them. So you can see how uh, easy it is to work in Grasshopper and uh, use an image to produce results. So you can see that we can also have the, you can see that we have the borders of that image also. And I've also uh, made this image, as you can see, this is a more detailed one. So this is going to be lots of pixels and had, uh, you have to just maybe put that for two minutes to run. So I just decreased that. You can see we are, after decreasing that, that's going to be into other groups of uh, colors. So basically this tutorial is also about colors, how you can manage them into groups of colors. And at the end, I've just decreased that into something like this. You can see that those colors are uh, more present in other places. And these are three phases of the color uh, grouping and in this image you can see that I have made those into uh, basic uh, groups so you can also uh, dispatch them or use different because dispatch is useful for black and white but for colors we're going to go and dive into a really uh, complicated thing so if you just don't understand the tutorial maybe you can use it that definition to uh, make that and this is basically a pixel art you can also uh, search on Google. And as you can see here, I have just searched for monochrome pixel art. And you can see that you can have these results, use the patterns in your projects, maybe use it in architecture or your design, really doesn't matter. You can also uh, search for pixel art and you will just have more results. The pixel art grid is similar to what we have done here. And the grid is also showing. So you can see that this is uh, how we can achieve these results and produce them. Uh, you can also look at different things and put them into Grasshopper. So you can see how sophisticated Grasshopper can be and produce uh, work on colors, manage into groups, and uh, the data management is really great. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel. And you can also watch uh, something that is related to this video that corner and see you next time.